Welcome to our guide on maximizing your file flows with Docker Mods. File Flows is an amazing tool for managing and automating your file workflows. But did you know you can take it even further? Docker Mods enable you to incorporate extra packages, applications, and execute general modifications across all your File Flows Docker instances. For instance, if you need an extra application to be part of your workflow, a Docker Mod can install it ensuring it's available across all Docker instances. This is particularly useful for creating a consistent and reliable environment. But that's not all. Docker mods also allow you to integrate additional tools or configure custom applications, tailored to your specific needs. This level of customization ensures your file flow setup works exactly how you want it to. Imagine you need a specific tool or custom configuration to optimize your workflow. With Docker mods, you can easily achieve this through a tailored modification, making your Docker environment more flexible and powerful. Now that you understand the power of Docker mods, let's take a look at how you can implement them in your own setup. Let's explore how to use Docker mods from the community repository. The community repository is a collection of Docker mods created by both the FileFlows team and the user community. These Docker mods add extra functionality, tools, and customizations to your FileFlow setup making it easier to enhance your workflows. First, open the FileFlows web console and go to the Docker Mods page. Next, click the Repository button to bring up the Repository Explorer. From here, select the Docker Mods you wish to install and click to download them. Once downloaded, these Docker Mods will be applied to all Docker instances in your environment. If you wish to remove a Docker Mod, simply select it from the list and click Delete. Let's dive into how you can create your own custom Docker mod to tailor your file flow setup even further. To create a custom Docker mod, click the Add button from the Docker Mods page. You'll be presented with a form to fill out the name, description, and select an icon for your Docker mod. The script is a bash script where the magic happens. Docker mods should follow these principles. Have the ability to uninstall the Docker mod using the uninstall parameter. Check if the Docker mod is already installed, and if so, exit early. Finally, install the Docker mod if it is not installed. Depending on the Docker mod you are creating, this could be as simple as installing an application from apt, like in this example, or it could be more complex, such as downloading source code from a repository, compiling it, and building the application. Since a Docker mod is a bash script, you can make it do whatever you require following the Linux standards for installing any application. Once we have our Docker mod, we can save it and begin to use it. If you want to share your Docker mod with the community, and we really hope you do, follow these steps. Right-click on the Docker mod to bring up the context menu. Select Export and download the Docker mod. You can now make a pull request to the FileFlows community repository and share your Docker mod with the community. See our documentation for more information about submitting to our community repository. Thanks for watching.